Good morning. Watching a new technical video is a good way to take a break in your day. Today we will talk about the P&ID, piping and instrument diagram. We would like to provide you simple answers to basic questions, like, what is a P&ID? What does it represent? And how do you read it? But before continue the video, if you are not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel and click on the bell. New technical and curious videos will be published. It's not the first time that we are talking about P and ID on this channel, but with this video, we will try to provide an easy guideline for understanding and reading. Good morning. We can start with this question. What is a P and ID? The P and ID is a technical schematic drawing used in oil and gas sector and more often in chemistry engineering sector. Its purpose is to represent a plant or system and its complexity of equipment, piping, instrumentation and inline elements with the identification of the control loops and the interlocks that are part of it. Which are the standards that provide information on the symbolism used in the P and ID? The main standards that provide guidance on how to represent P and ID are the ESA standards, in particular the standard S5.1, and, for example in Italy, the Unichem Manual No. 6 which shows the indications on how the instruments are represented. There are also other standards such as ISO 14617 and ISO 10628 that, in some way, have representations similar to the ESA and Unikim standards. What do the lines show on the P and ID? On P and ID, different types of line appear. On this video we mention only four types. Continuous line. It represents a process connection. In practice these lines represent the piping. Continuous line with short couple of segments at 45 degrees. This type of line is used to represent pneumatic connection, for example the small plastic pipes used to feed the automatic actuators of the valves. Dotted line represents an electrical instrumental connection. This type of connection is made by electrical cables. For example the connection between the primary instrument and field, as example a pressure transmitter, and the control system that acquires the signal. Point stroke line represents a software connection, a link within the logic managed by the control system. There are other types of lines within the PNID that are less used. For details please refer to the previously mentioned standards. How can the instruments be identified on the PNID? There are multiple graphic symbols related to the instrumentation. In this video we will analyze the four main symbols. Local instrument. It is represented by a circle. All instruments installed in the field are local instrument. For example a pressure gauge, a temperature indicator, any kind of transmitters. Control cabinet instrument on front. It is represented by a circle divided in two by a continue horizontal line. If the line is dashed the instrument is installed inside the cabinet. For example, the electrical instruments installed in front of cabinet. Monitor or HMI control panel indication, software indication. It is represented by a circle inscribed in a square divided by a horizontal continue line. Indefinite interlock. It is represented by a square rotated 45 degrees. Each instrument is identified through a combination of letters where, the first letter represents a process variable. Some examples are, P for pressure, T for temperature, Z for position, A for analysis, F for flow rate, L for level and so on. The second letter defines what instrument does and what instrument is, for example, the I for indication, the C stands for control, the T for transmitter, the A indicates alarm, the S means switch. From the third letter, additional informations are indicated, for example, L for low, H for high, V for valve. And now, we try to evaluate an example of P and ID. In our example, the following equipment are represented a reactor, a pump, a condenser, and a steam exchanger. Piping lines and the relevant inline elements, manual valves, Y filters are shown. On PAND ID are indicated also the instruments like pressure transmitter, PT, temperature transmitter, TT, low level switch, LSL, and the pressure gauge, PI. Also are indicated the automatic on slash off valves, XSV, the temperature control valve, TCV, and the pressure control valve, PCV. That is all for today. Our basic information video on how to read a P and ID is completed. We hope you like it. 
The video is also available in Italian on our channel. Thank you for watching us. Thank you. If you like the video please, share it with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to the channel and come back for the next videos. Ciao.